Only at 10 o'clock tonight, Greenville County voters could be asked to pass a penny tax to pay for roads come November. But before it goes on the ballot, a special commission will recommend which product projects will get that funding. A Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris explains how the process will work. A capital penny could fund many things, but they want to use it for roads. Not only are they limited under the law to what they can do, but we could narrow that scope even further. With a passing vote, county and Greenville city leaders are now preparing to appoint a six-member commission. They'll be in charge of deciding which projects to fund with $1 billion a penny tax could generate in eight years. I could tell that the council was drifting around in different directions about how we know they're going to do what we want to do. So County Councilman Butch Curvin says they're also working on another resolution. This one would guide commissioners to stick to roads and bridge projects only. And the commission already has a starting point. The county has collected over 100 roads and bridges in need of intersection, corridor, pavement and safety improvements. We've heard from all the mayors in, in, in Greenville County. We've heard from the state. Chairman Dan Tripp says more money means high priority projects get completed faster. The projects staff found included intersection upgrades like on Fairview Road, widening on Ashmore Bridge Road, safety measures on Pete Hollis Boulevard, bridge replacements like on Queen Street, and plenty of repaving needs. And we do have some roads that are almost worn down to, to mud, you know. They're looking at not only county-owned roads, but state roads, too. At the end of the process, we have to decide whether we agree with their report or not. I think it's going to be a great process. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. Applications are open right now for the county's three appointed commission seats. Now, the only requirement is you must be a registered voter. Now, the commission will have about two months to create the project list and then send it back to council. Uh, we'll have a link for that at foxcarolina.com.